are going to find out what the after repair value is on a property that is being rehabbed right now in Oklahoma City. Sweet little four bed. So let's uh, let's get started. So use a matrix. You want to find out what a house is worth when it's rehabbed and fixed up nice, brought up to date, new carpet, paint, tile, fixtures, etc., etc. This would be a good video for you. If you um, want to watch this video and just see how to do typical comparables using Matrix, this would be a good video for you also. So here I am in Matrix. I hold the cursor over search and I scroll down to the word quick underneath residential. And that takes me to my quick residential setup. I've got a whole bunch of stuff added down here that I use quite often. So if you find yourself using things, uh, using additional items than just what the standard quick search has open, you can add or remove fields underneath. Additional fields, click add or remove, and then just add the ones that you're interested in. So that's how you do that. Um, so this particular home is located... Uh, first, I do active pending sold, and I do 0 to 185 days. Active pending sold, 0 to 185 days. And this particular home is located in the legal edition of Rolling Wood. And I put an asterisk in front and behind Rolling Wood because those, um, the, if someone accidentally did a typo and accidentally put something in front of the word Rolling Wood, or um, Rolling Wood has different sections. Um, that, that, that'll include all those sections. And then this particular home is around 1,800 square feet. So basically, I'm going to go plus or minus 300 square feet. So 1,500 to 2,100. I'm going to put 2,150 because um, it's a little more than 2,100 square feet. And then this one is a four bed, so I'm just going to put three beds plus. And then, of course, it has two baths. And it does have a two car. So I put two bath plus, two car garage plus in Rollywood. And it looks like over the last 85 days, we have five matches. So let's take a look at those real quick. And when I click search, I like to check the map also. So that's the correct neighborhood. Okay, that is the correct neighborhood. Very good information there. Um, got some good comparable cells. So let's, let's uh, we got some comparable sales. Let's see what the sold price per square foot is on them real quick. So after you get done looking at the map, making sure they're all in the right neighborhood, you click on the results tab again, and then you click this select all button right here, and then you click one line CMA right here. And so the most price per square foot one is sold for is 10360. 10360 and that sold for $210,000 sales price. The next closest is 9778, so that's good. So we'll just use those two as our highs and lows. And look at the average days on market for this neighborhood. Market turns over immediately in this neighborhood. That's really good. That's really good. And if this one contracts right here, which has been on the market 3 days, if that contracts, that'll help out these comparables even more. So 106, if a contract's at full price, that'll push the comps up even further. But for right now, we'll use 103.60 and 9778. So it's real simple. When you're doing that, you just take the property's square footage. And remember, this one's being rehabbed, so that's why I'm using the top two. It's being rehabbed, so everything's gonna be nice and new. You know, if it's just an average home, we'd use the average numbers. And then the second to the highest, but it's being rehabbed. Everything's going to be nice and new. So 97.78, and let's say it's 1,821 square feet. At the um, low high, you're looking at $180,000 sales price. $180,000 sales price. So make a note of that $180,000. And then at 103.60. You're going to multiply that by, let's say, 1821 square feet, and you're looking at 188. So 190 and 180. 190 and 180 are the two uh, ones that I put this one at. So once you've got those two numbers, you can you do your mail. estimated net to seller sheet. 
using Matrix, and I really, really like this sheet because um, I just like the layout of it. I just really do. So we're going to put in myself as the uh, seller, and then we'll do the magical, we'll do, um, so you put in the address right here, and then you put in the city, um, I put the city, the state, and the zip all on the city line. And that's just because it looks better on the form once the form is done. And let's say we close this one at the end of February. Whoops. It is 2020. End of February. And then we'll do a 90 sales price. We'll do a 185 sales price. And then we'll do a 180 sales price. And uh, that's just because we're splitting the difference of the two. So, uh, state and deed tax. This property has $1,561 a uh, year in taxes. So, to figure out two months of taxes, you just take the current taxes. <sighs> this house just got bought. So let's say let's say the assessor. Well, they're they title company still going to go off last year's so let's just well that I'm only seeing 2018 let's say 2019 taxes went up to um, 1750 you divide the total taxes by 12 because there's 12 months in a year and then you multiply it by the months uh, in the year until closing so we're going to close it in February so that's times 2 and you have 292 basically 292 so remember that number, and then let's say it sells for 190. You got to add in the doc stamps. You get 285 plus 292, and 577. And I always round up on my numbers because you don't want your numbers to be low on the final settlement. You want your numbers to be high on your estimate compared to the final settlement. That way the seller's always getting a little extra. And if any weird hiccups come up, like they have to rebuild an abstract or something, that there's already a little margin built in for that. Recording fee, let's say there's three documents, we'll say $22, um, $21. Let's say there's two documents, $21. Um, uh, seller paid closing costs. This house, since it's completely fixed up and nice, uh, the seller could just negotiate the closing cost on top. So I'm not going to put anything there. Home warranty, not going to put anything there. Um, a lot of the title companies in Oklahoma County have gone to a standard $550 abstracting, but every now and then uh, you find one that hasn't, so I'm just going to put 600 And then your attorney fees, your uh, gap checks, your um, title report fees, all that other stuff, comes out to about 600 bucks too. And then you put your what you're charging for your commissions, you put that in there. And then... Uh, you put in overnight fee because sometimes sellers can't make it to closing so you just put in an overnight fee and then that will cover that so if the property sells for 190 so uh, looking at a profit of 176 minus any uh, carrying costs like construction loan or anything like that um, and uh, So yeah, those are some decent numbers. Um, yeah, that's where it's at, guys. All right, so this form's really great. Let me go ahead and save it right now. And then let me pull it up for you and show you how, see, look how clean that looks. That is a clean looking form. So we've got scenario one, scenario two, and scenario three. Nice, clean form. So you can see all the cost, and it's got 176, 171, and 167. All nice, clean cost right there. So then I print it to Adobe. You could just email this straight over if you want. I print it to Adobe and then I email it from there. So let me get this saved. And yeah, so that's how you look at the after repair value for a home. You take the high comps and then you could do your SMA net to seller too. So you know what that is before, um, you know what your real estate is. Uh, closing costs are before any carrying cost or any um, rehab expenses. You just plug those numbers in afterwards. So.
hope you find this video helpful, especially for those you agents that use Matrix. Um, for you consumers that aren't real estate agents who are Realtor members, um, this is how uh, Realtor members, that are real estate agents, there's two different things there. There's two different things, so always pay attention. Um, figure out the after repair value for uh, homes when they're doing rehabs on them. All right, give it a big thumbs up. Share it with all your friends. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Ah, I saved that in the wrong spot. I'm going to move that folder where it's supposed to go, and I'm going to get to work on wishing everybody a happy birthday. I'm calling 20 fast customers and just catching up with them, seeing how they're doing. I've got to write an offer real quick uh, before I go over to my 1 o'clock showing, and then I've got a 4 o'clock closing. And on that 4 o'clock closing, uh, you guys are really going to like that 4 o'clock closing. Um, you've been watching that house uh, with me since I think back in April maybe. April was when we first looked at it. So looking forward to getting that one closed, getting that one off the books. It's been a long process, but um, real estate's not instant. Real estate is a long-term game, but um, it, it's very, um, you get paid for the work you put in it when it comes to real estate. So if you guys are thinking about getting into business, have any questions, give me a call. I'd be happy to talk about it with you. Think about buying or selling a house in a, in your Oklahoma. Give me a call. 405-305-7965. Josh Barnett, Better Homes Garden Real Estate Paramount. Thanks for watching. Make it a great day.